determinant the operation of determinant we will see how it is being operated suppose the elements are like this see the sign of first place is positive and just see the sign of every neighbor element will be opposite to its neighbor element it is positive it will be negative it is positive negative positive negative like this you can go for that the value of determinant can be found out by expanding it either along a row or along a column suppose i am expanding it along r1 expanding it along r1 is giving you 1 into this is getting cancelled this is getting cancelled these four elements are left over 5 into 9 45 minus 48 minus 2 into this cancel this cancel 4 into 9 36 minus 42 7 into 6 42 plus 3 into this cancel this cancel the corresponding row and column is getting cancelled this is 32 minus 35 always multiply in this fashion this is known as crisscross way like this minus this here this minus this here this minus this like this okay so i am getting the value of this thing it is coming out to be minus 3 minus what is this minus 6 into 2 plus 12 and this is what minus 3 into 3 plus 9 uh, minus 9 okay because minus 3 so it is coming out to be 0 you can expand it along any row or column you will get the same answer all the time suppose I am expanding it along C1 we can expand it along C2 C uh, R2 R3 C2 C3 any anyway you will get the same answer you just have to expand it along any single row or column okay now we will see that while solving the problem we have to do three operation first thing into its cofactor second thing into its cofactor like this we have to do but using the properties of determinant anyhow if we are making two zeros then we have to do only a single work so in the, if uh, given the using the properties of determinant solve it we have to bring two zeros first one question I am taking here 1 1 1 a b c a square b square c square mostly it is given to prove that it is a minus b into b minus c into c minus a questions are given prove that this is thing equal to that okay so you have to bring two zeros what operations we are permitted to do in the determinant so that its value is getting unaltered we can subtract any row from any row we can add any row to any row we can add all the rows to a particular row and same operation can be done in respect of columns as well columns operation suppose uh, here three ones are there i have to bring two zeros that is the final goal final goal means two zeros two zeros okay but i'm just giving you semi-final goal semi-final goal means once you are getting that thing you are certainly you will certainly get two zeros so if you are getting triple one along any row or column you can easily get two zeros luckily here in the question triple one is there so we will just move to the final goal to bring it to zeros I, I mentioned what operations i can do moreover we can take anything common from any particular row or column okay here i am doing the operation so see if i have to subtract from this one this one i have to move in this way see c1 minus c2 where we want to do the operation at c1 what operation we want to do c1 minus c2 so it will come out to be c c1 minus c2 will give you 0 a minus b a square minus b square okay 
Moreover, the change is taking place at C1 only. By this operation, C2 and C3 are remaining as it is. Don't go, get confused that 1, 1, 1 is in R1. So we have to go for R1 minus R2. If we go for R1 minus R2, we will get 1 minus A, 1 minus B, 1 minus C, which is nothing for our use. Okay. Moreover, C2 is unaltered. We can make the changes in C2 as well. C2 minus C3. Just make habit in writing this fashion where you want to bring the change, what changes you want to bring. You are starting with C1, so just write C1 minus C2, not C2 minus C1. C2, you are starting with C2, so C2 minus C3, not C3 minus C2, like this. So I am doing the operation here, it is coming out to be 0, B minus C, B square minus C square, 1, C, C square. So I got two zeros. Now I say to you what we can do, we can take anything common from any particular row or column. So if I am taking A minus B common from C1, it will be 0, 0 is not putting any obstacle in taking common. You can take easily anything common when 0 is there. It is 1, it is A plus B you know. If I take B minus C common from C2, I have to write it outside. So this is 0, 1, B plus C, 1, C, C square. Now, just whenever we are getting two zeros, we are free to expand it along that row or column where two zeros are there. So if we expand it along R1, because two zeros are there in R1, we will get what we want. Two things are outside. B minus C and on expanding 1 I have to write this is getting cancelled, this is getting cancelled, just this minus this like this, okay. So 1 into B plus C is B plus C minus 1 into A plus B is minus A minus B. So what it is coming out to be C, C minus A, that is the thing we want. Hope this basic determinant operation is clear to you. One more example I am taking, see how we can take the things common to make it possible in the format we decided to bring triple one. Suppose it is x, y, z. This is y, z. This is x, z. This is x, y. This you write x square y square z square okay at the first instance what i said you anyhow try to bring triple one so we cannot take anything common from any row or column so that to make it triple one uh, i'm just doing one introduction here if i multiply c1 with x so this is the basic thing that when we multiplying something to a row or column we have to balance it out by means of division so if i multiply y to the c2 it is y square x y z y cube this is z square x y z z cube or multiplying z to C3. Why I am doing this? You can say, sir, you, you, how you are taking the decision to do this thing. You see, if you see clearly, carefully, that uh, the, by doing the practice, you will uh, make a habit in taking the decision very easily. You see here, if uh, I supply this as x, this as y, this as z, this same thing will become here along R2. And once I am taking everything common from R2, I am left with 1, 1, 1. Okay. Now if I am taking x, y, z common from R2, see here, what I am left with x square, y square, z square, 1, 1, 1. So we have reached to the semi-final match. Now we have to win the final match. Okay. So triple 1 is there. So everything in our code now. Now this is cancelling. So nothing is just outside. Okay. So what operation we will do to make two zeros? You see. 
one is here from this one we want to subtract this one so we have to move this way so what operation we will be doing at c1 c1 minus c2 it is giving us x square minus y square 0 x cube minus y cube and here at c2 if you are making the change c2 minus c3 we are getting y square minus z square 0 y cube minus z cube and this is z square 1 z cube so we can expand it along r2 because two zeros are there in r2 on expansion we will get the things which way we want in between we can take the things common from c1 i can take x minus y common what is it is left with x plus y 0 is putting no obstacle x cube minus y cube formula is x minus y x square plus y square plus x y so i am taking x minus y common so it is x square plus y square plus x y same way if i am taking y minus z common from c2 it is coming out to be y plus z 0 y square plus z square plus y z and this is z square 1 z cube we are doing nothing here so on expanding it along r2 we will get 1 into you can make further plus minuses at any row column so to make it simpler as well suppose i am what i am doing one more operation i am doing without losing our zeros make the operations without losing the already attained zeros you can expand it along not a problem at all if you just greed more you can make the thing simpler if i go for c1 minus c2 see what is i'm left over with x minus z 0 minus 0 is not a problem if i'm subtracting this y square is getting cancelled x square minus z square which is x minus z x plus z i'm making up simple step plus x y minus y z i take y common x minus z see what more you are getting same as c2 c3 you write the items here write the items here see now i can take x minus z common from c1 as well things will be simpler further and we can expand it and whatever required we can get it one more example i am taking so that you are understanding the things how the operation of the rows columns is done okay This is x minus y minus z. This is 2y, 2z. This is y minus z minus x. This is 2z. This is 2x. This is z minus x minus y. This is 2x. This is 2y. Okay. See what can we do if we are doing at C one. Uh, so, uh, you uh, you can write at uh, R one. R one if you are adding R two and R three. See it will become x plus y plus z only. See here x minus y minus z plus two y plus two z is giving you x plus y plus z. You have to see these things by practice so the operation i am taking here is at r1 i want r1 plus r2 plus r3 so what i am getting i am getting x plus y plus z and here also this plus this plus this is giving you x plus y plus z and here also x plus y plus z and this is 2y, y minus z minus x, 2y, 2x, 2x, z minus x minus y. Just see whether you are going to take this decision your own or not. 
if you see this problem you will definitely see and moreover it is given you have to put this thing is equal to x plus y plus z whole cube like this so you get a hint your own that anyhow if you are bringing x plus y plus z you are getting the things done i took this step now what we can do we can take common x plus y plus z from r1 so that 1 1 1 is left over so if i take x plus y plus z common i am left with 1 1 1 so 90 percent of all my work is done this is 2y this is 2x this is y minus z minus x this is 2x this is 2y z minus x minus y like this now what operation you have to do you just do c1 minus c2 at c1 and c2 minus c3 at c2 you will get the things in the fashion x plus y plus z is already there on doing this operation you will get zero here if you subtract here you will get x plus y plus z see clearly if we, have, we go for 2y minus y plus z plus x it is x plus y plus z here okay so we, it is coming out to be zero at c2 if we are doing the operation c2 minus c3 zero i have to write the operation c1 what we are doing c1 minus c2 and c2 what we are doing c2 minus c3 very common operation we are mostly doing this is zero this on subtraction is giving minus of x plus y plus z and here it is x plus y plus z and here it is 1 2y z minus x minus y okay so now further you can take x plus y plus z common from c1 as well as from c2 so if i take common from c1 it will become square of that from c2 then it will become cube of that so ultimately what i am getting x plus y plus z whole cube and here it is 0 1 0 0 minus 1 1 and here it is 1 2 y z minus x minus y okay we got two zeros along r1 and also along c1 if we expand it any anyway we can expand if i am expanding it along c1 i have to just write one this is getting cancelled this is getting cancelled i am left over with this thing one into one is one minus minus one into zero is zero and here it is x plus y plus z q so this is ultimately coming out to be x plus y plus z whole q that i have to prove hope you are understanding basic operations on determinant